from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for Up Close and Personal here on The Horse's Mouth on Buzz TV from my bar, of course, at Tommy Max, and brought to you by our good friends at the Heritage Capital Group. This time around, we're talking mosquito prevention, killing them all and getting rid of them. And uh, Enrico Levy is here from Insecto. Let's welcome Hi, in Tom, Enrico. Thank you. Hi, Enrico. How are you? Very well, actually. Great to have yeah, you at the bar, man. Th thank you to be. Man, uh, what an invention. Listen, you're in the spot to kill the mosquitoes. Are you kidding me? The, Northeast yeah. Florida, Southeast Georgia, they're a pain in the rump. They are. And they, yeah, also, carry, they also carry diseases. So they we do. want to uh, take care of them from the point of uh, being annoying pests, but also to be carrying right. a vector of, of diseases. Okay. Tell me about your invention. This looks pretty cool. This is a, has a nice story about the invention because okay. it's the result of a very uh, strong uh, cooperation, public and private, because okay. I had some ideas on what would happen if you could incorporate the insecticides within a coating. At that time, we didn't, uh, I didn't have much more than that in mind. Okay. Okay. But I found that, that the University of Florida was studying what turned out to be this, so a trap that would replicate in shape, color, and scent, because we put inside on some leaf inf inf okay. infusion. Okay. It, it replicates the shape, uh, the place where female egg-laying mosquitoes want to go to lay their eggs. Okay. So rather than being us chasing the mosquitoes with foggers, trying yeah. to make it yeah. their uh, word uh, uh, <laughs> impossible to live in, we attract them. We do exactly the opposite. We're not repellents. We are attracting them. Right. Bring them in. What the, the, um, uh, the female mosquito might think when she enters this device, only, the only thing you need to do is to, to put water in it. Right. You fill this up with water. Yes. Uh, exactly. Yeah. What, the, what the female mosquito will find is that she will think that uh, she's the luckiest mosquito in the world. This is the best place to raise my kids. Okay. What she doesn't realize is that um, the inner part of this is covered with the, our patented coating that incorporates uh, adulticides and larvicides. Okay. So she lands on the internal surface to lay eggs, dies at contact. Um, if uh, she doesn't die, die immediately, but it has time to lay eggs, okay. the eggs die with the larvicide that is released in, uh, in the water. So okay. we're killing them with two different insecticides in two different stages of their growth. Yeah. So we are also non-selecting uh, pesticide-resistant mosquitoes. Okay. And uh, it's very simple. Everything is contained in, uh, inside. Yeah. So um, no one gets in contact with the uh, insecticide. Only attracts mosquitoes, so you don't have the problems that you have if you are fogging your right. yard. You're not because killing other. You're not bees killing or whatever, bees, yeah. uh, the ladybugs, right. Or, right, right. or anything, right. anything like that. So, yeah. and more and more, the uh, regulation are making it impossible to spray if you have uh, flowers. Right. But then you have, uh, maybe you say, okay, maybe in my yard I don't have flowers, but if I'm spraying, it, my, my, my neighbor has uh, right. flowers just on the other side of the fence. Absolutely. So I'm killing his bees and he's going to be pissed. So more and more, there are less and less uh, um, uh, permission to do that. Okay. This is a great integration. It's a great integration to the uh, pest uh, um, management uh, okay. uh, companies. All right, so walk me through. So I'm a homeowner. Yes. I love sitting outside. Correct. And right around 5 o'clock, the bugs come out. The mosquitoes come out. They start chomping at me. I fill this up with water. Yes. Can I put it anywhere in my yard? Does it have to be close to me? No, there you know is no I mean? limitation. Like there is matter. no limitation. Okay. Uh, you can go, basically, it's very safe. Uh, there is uh, no, no problem. One I, per I'll, household, I'm sorry to cut you off. Like one, or would you, if you had a big yard, you want a couple, or what do you, what do you, what's the deal? The reality, if you want to, uh, an entomology yeah. answer is it depends. Okay, uh, depends how bad you uh, want to get them killed. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the reality is that uh, each one of for these, for like say, 2,000 square feet or something okay. or something like that. They f mosquitoes fly, but they don't fly very far. far so, right. uh, but the, it might depend on the level of vegetation that you have uh, yeah, around sure. yourself. Yep. If you have friends coming over at five o'clock for uh, for dinner, this is not uh, uh, the something that you put out uh, an hour before because okay. what this product does is a disruptor of the life cycle of the mosquito. So. Only the mosquito that is ready to lay the, her eggs will be attracted. attracted. So uh, in the first, uh, let's say, week or so after yep. deploying the product, you would probably feel uh, a small reduction of, okay. of, of, the, of the biting. Then there will be uh, a, a, 
almost uh, like almost of their overnight uh, they, they, yeah. they 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 they're going away because yeah. uh, the adults will uh, will, will die, but okay. uh, there will be no newborn uh, that wow. will come uh, out of that. So it's kind of a there's a process to it. So it's not a quick hitting. Is is not the, put out there, forget about it. No. Guess what? Three weeks later, two weeks later, you're gonna yes. be like, man, yes. there's no bugs out. There's no mosquitoes out. That's exactly okay. that's exactly cool. the feeling. That's great. All right, so. You, you mentioned off-air um, some government funding? Correct, well, correct. Tell me about that a little bit. Um, we started with the university involvement, uh, okay. and uh, maybe it was a little bit of serendipity. The uh, Army had a, a graduate student, uh, uh, actually I thought the Navy was, uh, okay. uh, uh, at the getting a PhD at the University of Florida. Okay. And um, uh, this... Uh, uh, Kid was basically reporting back to the bases what he was involved and mentioned the technology they were testing. Okay. And uh, it was the Pentagon itself actually that contacted us and said, We are looking for a solution to protect our soldiers because they get uh, bit by mosquitoes oh, and they get uh, very um, debilitating diseases, dengue, right. for instance. Yep. So, uh, the, the military has a long uh, history of, uh, um, of uh, uh, research against mosquitoes. Walter Reed, uh, sure. uh, by yeah, whom... Yeah. Right. Uh, Walter Reed was the one that identified that uh, the uh, yellow fever was brought by oh, uh, mosquitoes. Oh, uh, mosquitoes. Oh, no, wow. So um, th there is a special fund that the Pentagon has uh, yep. called the Deployed Warfighter Protection Program, and they thought that this was a, a product that uh, could be so simple to use yeah. and so smart as a technology to use that could be phenomenal to uh, to be uh, provided to the military because yeah. you don't need any special training. Just fill it with water, put them around your... Yeah. Yes, put yeah. them in the shade so that it doesn't overheat because... Okay, uh, so it's got to be in the shade or should yeah, be in the shade. They, don't want yeah. the, they, they, don't, they are smart enough to understand they don't want their eggs to be boiled. So right. it, it needs to be... It means to remain a fresh... Yep. Uh, a fresh place. Yeah. Actually, uh, with the shape uh, like this, uh, it remains fresh. So, when the, the temperature is very high, even males will go in here just to, uh, oh. just to, to, to check it out. To, to be fresher. Yeah. See if there are any females. In there. Oh, they they will be. <laughs> there, will, there, there, there will be absolutely. Right, 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 right. Well, it makes sense. Like, because you, you think about like in Florida here, if you leave. Like, say you're outside, and mm -hmm. I don't know, a plant pot fills up with water. Yes. Mosquitoes are common. Yes. I mean, any standing water could be even a tiny bit, like you said. What'd you say? A cap full? Can well, bring the a full Asian tiger mosquitoes is being documented to be able to reproduce its, uh, itself uh, um, in a Coca-Cola tap uh, flipped upside down with right. just uh, just yeah, rain. Water, yeah, rain. So water. basically, uh, by once they are into an urban environment, it's almost technically impossible to, yep. to, to eliminate it because uh, in an urban environment these days we are providing a buffet yep. open 24-7 uh, yeah. uh, and yep. uh, infinite uh, reproductive yep. Uh, yep. places. So where they can has this to. been brought to market? Are we there yet? Yes, this is the first the, okay. year where we right. have been uh, cool. um, significant on the market. This year we, we sold about... Uh, $2 million of cool. this. Awesome. Great. Congrats. Actually, the way we are dealing is that uh, we are making contract with distributors, so we are expecting uh, 2024 time two, what we had yeah. this year, yeah. and 2025 uh, again time two, yeah. uh, because uh, 2025 will be the first year where we also start entering the consumer market. Okay. Um, we're working with a private label with big players. I mean, and, every uh, store should. And, yeah, uh, and it actually is a global product uh, yeah, in the yeah, sense yeah. that uh, we have signed a contract uh, actually with an American company, but very active uh, overseas. Uh, yep. They are the largest uh, um, distributor and pest control products in everything in Southeast yep. Asia. Okay. Um, we are, well, now this product is registered in 25 countries over the cool. world, uh, and uh, they should be double themselves uh, in the cool. next uh, year or so. Okay, so we know that success as we wrap up here, because I love talking about entrepreneurs. Everyone okay. thinks like... You know, you just met, like it just happened, no, right? No. But how long did it take? You when you started, it, and everything when, when it started, I was blonde with curly hair. <laughs> okay. uh, it's been very complex. Yeah, uh, the, 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 regu the regulations. The regulatory speak. process yeah. is a, a nightmare. It's a, it is a nightmare in the United States. It's a nightmare 
all over the world. Yeah, and right. sometimes uh, uh, you might have all the rules in the world, but it goes down to the understanding or of uh, the product by yeah. the uh, technician that has been put in charge of this thing. Yeah. Um, I have uh, received the other day the registration of this product in Spain. It's been hanging in there for four years. Oh, wow. And um, the... Uh, the person that uh, made the, uh, all the effort probably did not understand fully the product and yeah. wanted us uh, to add to the formulation like a bittering agent, like yeah. it would repel a kid if the kid was licking it. But the, the, the insecticide is inside, it's not outside. So, right. uh, <laughs> What about the, uh, pouring the water, like if a kid did get a hold of it, like pouring yeah. out the water, would that bother them the, or do you have to worry no, about that? No, the of level of uh, um, concentration of okay. the insecticide is so low that uh, okay. uh, the World Health Organization would consider the water drinkable. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, kidding. No, no, no regulatory right. agency will right. ever allow us to say that it's drinkable, of but course. we never detected uh, um, an amount of, of insecticide in the that water would that would go above. So about. we are about two orders of, of magnitude, more than 100 times okay. less than, than what the, the product that we use would be already allowed to be uh, okay. used in contact with people. That's great, man. Congratulations. Thank you. A way to stick it out, man. It is. I a, know it takes. I mean, it's it, that's that's the, the journey is the story, right? It is. The Success will be the story, uh, but to get there is. That, uh, that's I think the story. that uh, we should probably write a book about that I agree. because uh, I agree. the story. Because uh, to make things even more complicated, um, uh, I got investors that put some money, and yep. uh, we. I remember receiving the the, the wire, December two thousand nineteen. Yeah. And uh, then I spent uh, January and February all in this area to try to find uh, a place uh, where. Okay. To, and then COVID came. Oh. And it was, oh. and, and the EPA yeah. basically shut down. Yep. So we, we said, okay, what happens? And yeah. we said, well, we will, will not be able to make sales in the United States for at least two years. Okay. But we can make sales in Europe and in other uh, Asian countries. So yeah. maybe we should make the plant uh, there. There you and go. And I said, how? I mean, I'm, I was with the long hair, yeah. my, my Star Wars T-shirt in front yeah. of a screen, uh, in the, <laughs> the most rigid lockdown in Europe. How can I do that? Right, right, right. And then they said, well, in Poland, uh, there are less stringent regulations, so oh. you might go there. So, but imagine making a plant for right. mosquitoes in a place with the snow yeah. and, and uh, right. <laughs> where there's no more, there are no mosquitoes that at all. Great. Hey, man. Congratulations Thank and you. thanks for being here. That is Pleasure. absolutely what a great, great invention. Hey, all you inventors out there, you <laughs> entrepreneurs, you can sit right here at the bar and talk about what you created as well. Until next time, y'all stay safe out there and be cool. We'll see you right here on the Horses Bar. Cheers. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.